In this video, we will demonstrate the accuracy of the pool water lab tester and explain how to correctly verify the accuracy of any water parameter measuring device. The pool water lab tester is rated at the L1 accuracy level, which is the highest standard of precision recognized in the USA. This rating ensures that the tester adheres to stringent guidelines for accuracy, providing users with reliable and consistent measurements for water quality testing. We explain this distinction to help users avoid making inappropriate comparisons, akin to comparing apples to oranges. Some people may visit poolside stores to test their water there, use test strips, or even rely on home testing kits. Others might consult professionals who use more sophisticated equipment. However, these approaches do not provide a clear basis for understanding the precise level of accuracy as compared to standards like the L1 accuracy level which measures specific scientific criteria. It's incorrect to compare different devices for precision since all of them have certain margins of error. However, we will now demonstrate the correct method to assess accuracy. To get started, you'll need to order laboratory water samples, also known as water tests, to ensure accurate and reliable testing. You should receive both pure water for a zero test which serves as a control to establish a baseline for no contamination or chemical interaction. And the same water mixed with reagents. Both samples verified under laboratory conditions to ensure their purity and composition meet strict standards. Therefore, we currently have samples of pure water for the zero test, which is used to calibrate the tester and ensure it reads zero in the absence of contaminants. Additionally, we have a sample of this same water mixed with specific reagents. These reagents are added to measure the tester's response to changes in pH, CYA, and free chlorine levels under controlled laboratory conditions. In the laboratory, these indicators pH, CYA, and free chlorine levels have already been pre-tested and the results are visible on the cuvette for clear and easy verification. This ensures that their baseline values are accurately established before we use them for further comparative testing. Before testing any samples or conducting tests, ensure the cuvette is always clean on the outside. You should gently wipe it with a soft, lint-free cloth to remove any fingerprints or other marks. Contaminants on the cuvette can adversely affect the results. Even a small fingerprint can cause light to refract improperly, leading the tester to provide incorrect results. Our samples have already been pre-wiped. They are thoroughly clean. Therefore, we can proceed directly to testing. Let's start by placing the zero sample with pure water and conducting the test. This step is essential as it ensures the tester is correctly calibrated before we proceed with further testing. Press the zero button to start the test and wait until the countdown ends. This may take a moment. Next, we'll set up the laboratory samples, which have been previously verified in a laboratory. Let's conduct the test now and carefully compare the outcomes. We'll analyze the results to see how they align with our expectations based on the pre-verified laboratory samples. Our tests are saved in the favorites. This feature allows us to quickly retrieve our most commonly used tests without having to set up the parameters each time. Start the test by pressing the D1, T2, and T3 buttons. Confirm with OK button and wait for the test to complete. The countdown has ended. We can now view the test results on the display. Let's compare these with the results provided by an independent laboratory to verify their accuracy and ensure our measurements align with those of a certified testing facility. According to the independent laboratory, the pH result is 7,50, while our tester shows 7,47. For CYA, the independent laboratory recorded a value of 48, and our tester displayed 49. Regarding free chlorine, the independent laboratory reported a level of 0,72,
whereas our tester gave a result of 0, 0,79. Therefore, we can conclude that the tester meets the L1 accuracy level, the highest standard of precision currently accepted in the USA. For reference, the L1 accuracy level permits an allowable error margin of plus or minus 12%. This range is considered acceptable for ensuring reliable and accurate results within the defined standards for precision. However, we observe that the pool water lab tester demonstrates significantly less deviation than what is typically allowed for L1. This precision exceeds standard expectations, highlighting the tester's superior performance in ensuring highly accurate water quality measurements. Last but not least, when conducting any tests, ensure that the light protection cap is fully and securely closed. This step is essential because any light entering the test chamber can interfere with the optical sensors, leading to skewed or inaccurate results. Proper sealing of the cap prevents external light from affecting the measurements, thus maintaining the integrity and reliability of the test outcomes. Always check that the cap is tightly fitted to guarantee precise readings every time. To turn off the device, press and hold the off button. Pull water lab. Perfect water, perfect moments. Test, trust and dive in.